Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aviation Flight Sim back again on YouTube here with another video. As I said, I will be posting the video on how to taxi. So here we are again uh, with the Airbus AT21, uh, the default aircraft in FSX. I'll be showing you how to taxi with the default aircraft. Uh, this will have the air traffic control included, so how you can uh, contact it and how to make it more real FSX more realistic. So let's get into the cockpit, guys. Here we are in the cockpit of uh, the Airbus AT21. Uh, in FSX, most of the times you get the engine on, which is the default setting. So you can change that setting, but uh, most of the times it's uh, it can't be changed. So it's just the same thing. So you just need to switch off the engines from here. You can see that you are at the on mode, but uh, the main thing uh, they're just very you know. That's not that professional uh, here in FSX. So right now this is the cockpit of the Airbus AT21. So we need to taxi. So guys, um, now what we're gonna do is we need to contact the air traffic control tower. So you can contact the air traffic control tower in two ways. Uh, by going to the 2D panel here, I'll show you the 2D panel uh, here, and you can see this. Uh, this headphone headset icon click it and you can get this air traffic control this is the menu or you can press alt to get this bar over here go to views and air traffic control this is air traffic control so that's two ways so here it tells to to tune the dubai ground on 118.35 um you can tune it uh, automatically just by pressing this all right, you can see some of uh, the ATC, you know, read, uh, the readbacks from different aircraft. Or, if you want to have some realism, let's say we had to contact the ATs here, which shows us the weather, what's, uh, what's the weather at Dubai, what's the runway we're going to be using, what's the runway is active. So just the same thing. So if you want to make it more realistic, you can go here on these icons, this radio stack, and uh, with the, from the radio stack, uh, you are gonna program the uh, frequency, which right now says one three one decimal seven zero zero. So you can go here to the standby. We can't put the actual. So the standby here, one three one decimal zero. So let me show you. The bigger cursor it will move the left side. The smaller cursor will move the right side. One three one seven zero zero. So you can put seven hundred in this, and you can press this transfer button. This is done, and you can see this is the H's here, right? So let's contact the ground to get the tax instructions. So. Right now, we need to depart straight out, all right? So that's, uh, because I'm not an IFR flight plan, so it is uh, giving me these options. So I'll post another video on the full flight with uh, the IFR flight plan. So let's go uh, departing straight out. Dubai, round, Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, ready to taxi, departing straight out with November. Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, taxi to and hold short of runway 30 left, between taxi rate and criteria 2, hero Mike, contact tower 118.75, ready. Alright, we need to press the acknowledge taxi clearance button here. Yeah. And we have bread back. So let's put this off. And uh, I have just put some jetways. I'll just close all of them in a minute. Just gonna let this truck do its work here. If you want to uh, move this truck a little faster, you can just go to the bar and you can just go options, simulation rate, and increase the simulation rate here. All right, as you can see, uh, the truck has gone back, and this truck will be going back now. The jetway is back. But as I told you before as well, it takes time for the trucks to go. All right, now since it's going, let's close the cargo doors and let's taxi. All right, we're ready. So. Let's go back to the panel, uh, virtual cockpit, and let's go to views here, and the ATC. So, 
we can need to if you want if you don't know to navigate i call it the taxiways if you're the beginners so you need to press the third button here or you can press the number on your keyboard and when you close it you get these so these are the progresses or you know which shows you how is the taxiway so it's a pretty long taxiway but we will need to go there okay so let's put up the park put out the parking bracelets and let's pull it and parking brakes off now to push back you need to press i told in the video before you need to press shift p you can see that the tug comes there and uh, it will push it back so uh, if you want to go right or left there are some more buttons which i even i get confused in that so it is shift p and then one i think left it goes left and shift p and two it goes right so the, that's it uh, that's now we're taxing back so as uh, we're going up now um we're gonna have to turn on some lights all right so this is the seatbelt signs here you can turn it on but not now you need to turn it on when you are you know when you're starting your engines there and uh, there is the strobe lights which you need to turn on here wing lights if you need uh, the main is the taxi light switch here so you need to turn on uh, and the navigation so these are the lights important lights and we need some flaps so let's press f7 two times here and uh, right now if you see we have tax we have uh, pushed a lot we are back now so to stop the pushback press shift p over here and the tug will go right okay so we are ready now to taxi everything is set for us and uh, the frequency uh, if you want to program the frequency you can program it uh, like if you know i'll tell you by going to the atc and going here it is 11875 so you can just go over here and put 11875 here here all right we're done with this let's close the windows and let's taxi all right to taxi as i told the throttle way before you can go for uh, either putting f4 to full and then going or if you like a little bit on the front and then it's your wish all right ready for taxi let's put on the flight directors and let's go it's a very little fast taxi i'm gonna try one thing and to center the controls like if you're turning now and you don't know how to center it so just press uh, just on the num numpad you just uh, need to press uh, 5 right so sometimes you know uh, when you press the numpad and it's off like the numpad is not uh, on you know the numlock pad numlock um number lock so you need to just see uh, if the numlock you know if that doesn't work this will happen all right now see it you will be facing downwards so you need to press num lock once again and then put five and you will be having correct center controls everything starting from rudder to the side stick right now we have to just taxi main taxi speed uh, you can go to 25 knots so 25 30 knots um just like that and you can see that they're taxiing very smoothly here on the runway so you need to follow this progresses all the way towards the runway. As you can see, this uh, these many the many aircrafts, other aircrafts they are here, including from 747s, 737s, Airbus 821s, and all the rest of the aircraft. But one day I will also be showing you how to install planes in FSX. So I have many add-ons in FSX, and which I will also be showing to you. So let me break a little bit. It's a little going a little too fast. So to break, you can use the period key, which is the dot. Uh, call it the dot, I think. So you can press the period key, and you will see that it breaks. You can see the the bottom left corner. Uh, you will see the break here. So like that. So if you want, you can turn this to GPS, and we can taxi. Travel one eight six eight heavy IFR. The heart ready to copy. 
So the, you really have to maintain the yellow line here, but you know I'm not that master of this uh, maintaining the yellow line, but uh, I can maintain the center line while landing. And guys, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a big thumbs up as uh, your subscribe will uh, enhance it and I'll be trying to put more videos uh, on YouTube. So please don't subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon there and then give it a big like, a big like as well. If you have any questions regarding FSX, uh, please put it in the comments below. Um, there are a lot of views down the videos. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put in the comments below. So right now, as you can see, we've just nearly finished for the taxi. And uh, yeah, everything's been done. So that's the runway there. Let me just uh, not waste time and let me just put up the simulation rate so that the taxi is a little faster. I don't want to waste time right here. Ground, world travel 1868. World travel 1868. Heavy. Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 30. Left. See taxiway. Taxiway. Left. 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 Taxiway. This thing here, the pedal disc, the pedal disc which is written there, that is the tiller and in the 737, so this is a tiller but this is not that real, real here and I mean explain, we still turn it with the, we turn it with the rudder only or with the yoke, it depends, so it's, you know, it's different, it's not really professional, but uh, in all ways, you know, it's very good. Right now, as you can see, we are approaching the runway. So right now, when we are approaching the runway, um, just get in line with it. Or but if he said to hold short, so I will show you how to hold short over here. Stop the aircraft. So this is the yellow line here where you need to stop, right? This is the yellow line you need to stop over here. This is this is what means hold short. Now we need to just. Uh, Put out the frequency here. This button. They have the communication. And now we're gonna go back here with this ATC window and we can take off clearance. Here we go. Now we're gonna take back the clearance. Airbus Foxtrot Mike Sierra Alpha Bravo cleared for takeoff. Runway 30 left. Departing straight out. Approved. Feedback. And that's it, guys, for this video. Um, we're going to be on the. That's it, guys, and uh, this is all for the video here for taxi. I'll be trying to put another video very soon. Thank you very much, guys. I'll hope to see you once again.